And welcome back to another episode here at Main Lofts. Today we're going to move out these two hens out into the loft um, just to get them out of this box. They all look pretty healthy and all looking good. So what we'll do, um, just get them in the box like we did yesterday with the black ones and then we'll get them out there. Everything seems to be going pretty good. So we'll just move them out there, um, let them settle in for a while and then we'll figure out who we're going to pair them up with. Um, got a fair idea but um you know keep dropping your comments down below let me know who you think that these hens should be paired up with because um yeah lots of combinations we've got a lot more hens and boys now so let me know let's get these birds out there so sit you guys down there let's have a look at our breeders over here okay chicks are looking really good I need to probably try and get some rings on there because this one's starting to look like he's got turkey legs getting pretty fat so definitely want to get on a ring on those little drumsticks before they get too big but um, looking beautiful don't know what this one's going to be I'm going to put my money the bigger one being a blue bar um, and this little one being a hen being a checker but uh, we'll just have to wait and see it's looking pretty good pretty excited I love these little babies at this age breeding's my favorite time but this pair you two produce me some nice little babies so we're gonna keep keep you guys together pretty much until well pretty much the next few years I guess I don't even think we need to split you guys up because we're gonna have babies from you if you want to cross them into something else so we'll just put you back in there and We'll give you a bit of a top up in here. At the moment, we've got a lot more safflower and a lot more peas in here. Um, they are the two main seeds that my birds will feed, um, which, I don't know, that's just what they like. There's a lot more protein in those peas, and then obviously a lot more condensed energy and oil and fat in those safflower seeds. So um, I find that works really well for me and you can tell that pretty much all my babies come out pretty healthy so it seems to work quite fine but he's making a little bit of a mess in here lately and my next pair the old mum's looking pretty full look at your belly look how much her crop's sticking out she's got a fair bit of food in there she's a full-time pigeon milk making machine so that's very good because obviously these little chicks at the moment are pretty much only eating the um, crop milk um, and obviously that comes from all the higher energy seeds so they leave the wheat because that's not really that great uh, same thing. so she's getting excited now look at her she can see the safflower she loves safflower all my pigeons love safflower look come on yeah what's this come on She's gonna wait. We might have a look at the little chicks. So there's one there. He's got a little bit of fluff on his nose, but um, this one's looking pretty good. Might try and pick that fluff off soon, just so it doesn't sort of get in around his airways. Be interesting to see what these come out as. I think we might get a checker and a blue bar, but. I don't know, we'll see. Drop your comments down below, let me know what you think. Look at the size of the crop milk on this little bad boy. He's getting real, real fed. Plenty of food in that one. Um, and we'll just look at the second one. That one's a beautiful little chick as well. Um, so he's got a little bit of crop milk on his nose, that yellow stuff, that's what they've been fed. That stuff is magic. The babies grow super fast. But yeah, they're fantastic little babies. They look very healthy. We'll just put you back. The big daddy wants to come. Come on, big daddy. Come on. Come on. Help in. No. Come on. Come on. No. It's been a bit of a pain. Come on. Good boy. Oh, I just gotta be careful with those chicks sometimes. But doing a good job. Let's get these hens in there. 
How are our little black ones going? I've seen I've found some perches. Got one here, one up there, which is pretty good. And we got thunder and then the other baby here as well, hey? All right, let's bring in this one. And our seed. Come on. Starting to get a little bit crowded in here. Well, for breeding purposes anyway, so we're gonna have to um, get some of these young birds out into another loft very soon. But geez, that little, little cock bird stand up to that one pretty well. How are you doing? I wonder if we can get this little guy to eat from my hands. Come on. Come on. I know you want to. Come on. Hey, Bluey, what are you doing? Give our little pair in here a quick little feed. These are our ones with the big duck turkey eggs. Look at them, these eggs are massive. Look at the size of these eggs. Look, I've got big hands and these things are monstrous. Have you, been, have you guys seen eggs that big before? Drop some comments, let me know because um, these things are just like. <laughs> I'm shocked every time I see them. Oh, you got a good grip on me there. Good job. You can keep your feathers. I don't want them. But these eggs down here are pretty good too. Um, they are warm. I just like to check them every now and then. They're probably a little bit dirty on one of them, but it doesn't affect it too much. I really need to get a clean in here today, but. Um, I'm on night shift, so it is very difficult to get some free time at the moment. So what we might do is we'll get these hens out. Come on. Another one out. Come on. There you go. She's beautiful, this one. I like the darker checker on her. Definitely keen to breed some more dark checkers. So it'll be interesting to see what we can breed out of this one. I'm hoping to um, pair this one up with the big Leo Herman's cockbird we've got, the one with the big nose here. I think they'll make some very good pairs. I was going to pair it up to this one, but um, might just sit her aside for the moment um, and might try this one and see what we can get out of it because she's um, quite a beautiful hen. Um, so I might even swap her and the cockbird around soon and bring in a little storm into here. Oh, you're not happy with her. Get away from my nest. Don't you go in there. Oh, she's very aggressive, this thing. What is going on here? Sure you didn't send me a hen, Adam? A cockbird, sorry? I think Adam stooged us. I think he's gave us a, a cockbird. So much for being a hen.
what is going on here? This is another one of these things where we just totally spun out. This thing's actually a cockbird. But that actually works out even better. Like I'm just, oh gosh, I don't even have words for this. I was sitting there last night eating my dinner um, and because they were in their um, cage, I could hear one cooing. Not this kind of crowing, but like the cooing where it's trying to call a bird into a nest. It, I just, I'm just blown away now. So this puts a whole different spin on things because now we've got equal amounts of cocks and hens that we can potentially rotate around, but that's crazy. I've never seen a hen do that, so that's got to be a cockbird. That is so crazy. Oh, I'm going to have to get on to Adam about this one. What we need to do is get some food in here. Where'd I put the seed? Oh, it's down here. I'm just going to leave these birds in here for 24 hours and see how they go. Got a nice bit of food here. Come on. Come on. You coming down to eat? Come on. Oh, the little black ones come down. That's awesome. Oh, yes, here they come. Oh, the other black one. This is good. So see how quickly these guys are just figuring out. They're smart birds. So this is good news. We've got the other new blue bar hen over the back there. And then we've got this, this new one here. Come on. Here it comes. I think this one here is going to be a new character on the channel. This this bird's just blowing me away, and it just it is a beautiful standout bird. Oh, look at the stance on this thing. I just can't stop looking at it. So beautiful. Oh, it wants to have a feed. That's good. That's right, go and have a feed, good on ya. It's just chaos in here at the moment because all the cockbirds are crowing and chasing everyone around. Oh, it's definitely a cockbird, look at that. It's only been in here five minutes and it's already trying to take over. So this is actually interesting. Oh, he wants to chase the barless hen. If that turn, if this, well, it's pretty much a cockbird. So that, now that that's a cockbird, what we could do is we could pretty much, after the round, we could pair that one up with Little Storm. That would, oh, that would be a fantastic pair because they're both very similar sized birds, um, both quite good birds. So they're going to produce some really good babies. Look at him go. I've never seen a bird settle in so quick. Oh, we're gonna have to give this big guy a name. I don't know, I just don't know what to call him. Drop some names down below. We need to give this guy a name because he is just a standout bird. Look at him go. Even the sniper wolf, the barless hen's like, ooh, who's this good looking rooster? No, he's already challenging the big boy. <laughs> Things are getting crazy in here now. 
Oh, no, don't move on in this woman. Anyway, I'm going to catch you guys later. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think. This is a bit of a spin around once again. This is like days of our lofts. It's just crazy. She's really interested in him. Oh, and you're interested in the new hen as well. Look at you. That's our new hen there. Oh, it's going to be a noisy night till all these birds settle down. Anyway, I'm out of here. Catch you guys later.